Hello all. Um, I think that the Moodle quiz engine is really going to become powerful in the future, um, particularly right off the bat at the second, uh, excuse me, the junior high schools where there will be more and more iPads directly in the hands of students. Um, testing will very likely be very much digital or paperless. So um, let me tell you why I'm excited about Moodle quizzes. Actually, there's going to be a series of movies about this because um, it's fairly complex, but only because there is a lot of power to it. So I am going to start out with just creating questions. And to do that, it's best that I'm in a course and I'm in Michael Harris's uh, human biology course. Um, if you are in your course, on the left-hand side, in many cases, unless you've moved it, there is a settings block. And in settings, you will notice that there is a link to the question bank. When you are thinking about doing digital quizzing in Moodle, you always start with creating questions in a question bank that are organized by um, logical categories. And the other cool thing about it is that the um, question bank is intended to be collaborative so you can share banks of questions and you can build um, from there or build quizzes from there so I clicked on question bank and then I, you can see that I have questions categories import and export um, I want to look right into the category so when I click on that you are going to notice that at the very top, and if you haven't done quizzes before, this is probably all you will see is one category. You will notice the Moodle hierarchy, starting from the lowest part of the hierarchy or the organization of Moodle going to the highest. So right now you can see um, what's bolded here. The top category is um, the actual class I'm in. Now, if we get more general or higher up in the hierarchy, um, that it lives that course lives within the science category, and then the science category lives within. If I keep going down here, within Hopkins High School in the Moodle organizational system, and that school is inside of um, the system. So the banks of questions can be stored at any level of the Moodle hierarchy. Now, if the questions exist inside of the lowest level, like in this case, right inside this course, like these 48 questions right here are only accessible in this, or on this page or inside this course. However, if we store the questions farther up in the hierarchy, like in the science category, if somebody like Mike were to post questions here, so you can see, for example, that this variation in species category has 11 questions. Those 11 questions are accessible um, to any course that is in the high school science category. So the higher up the Moodle hierarchy the questions are stored, the more available the questions that you create are to a variety of different people or courses. So I'm going to go way up to the top and show you what is available at the system level. I think, these, okay, there we go. So if you plan to share your questions with teachers that are outside of your department and then outside of your school, so like let's say an elementary first grade teacher wanting to share, um, if they are in Alice Smith, they wanna share their questions with somebody at Meadowbrook, your questions have to be stored at the system level because if it's out if it's in a completely different school then uh, you can't share unless you're higher up in the hierarchy than the school breakdown I hope that makes sense so you can see that a lot of people have done that then um, what you see in your categories is based on if you've been given privileges to add use or edit categories at that level of the hierarchy. So for instance, if I just gave Mike Harris um, privileges to, to this level of the hierarchy, then he can grab these 48 questions right here to add to a quiz of his or any of the questions in this science category, but he wouldn't even be able to see 
anything that has been stored at the Hopkins High School level, which is no questions, or the system level. So if you are interested in that, interested in that collaborative sense or that collaborative sharing of questions, um, you're going to definitely want to request permission. And I will give you an opportunity to do that um, here.